Okay. Hello, hello, okay. hello. This is singing, dancing DJ Sandy K again. But listen, I want to, uh, I want y'all to to look over my wrinkles because they are deep and well, I'm old and they're deep and it's so deep that you could throw some dirt in there and raise the garden. So please excuse the wrinkles. The hair is pretty decent and my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the rubber bands are done. It's just to keep the hair from falling all over the place, but we are probably going to end up donating her hair to Pantene Beautiful Length, which is for cancer uh, survivors and cancer patients. Um, and this is, so they take hair anywhere from eight lengths up and it's for, because her hair has a little bit of gray and they won't um, sell or give her hair anywhere else. They'll use it to make uh, wigs for adults and children alike. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it now. You ready, Nana? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Ready, Freddy. Well, you're not Freddy, but I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm about yes. to cut it. Are you really sure? Yes. Okie dokie. How goes it? I can hear the scream of a thousand follicles. It's getting locked off now. Sorry if this hurts. I was waving at my daughter. You're, you're next, right? No. <laughs> that one and that one downstairs would kill everyone in their wake. We gotta compensate for all the baldness. <laughs> it's hard to cut, ain't it? Yes, it is. It does not want to come off. Nervous because you're this. It's okay. You don't have to make it look pretty. I'm trying to figure out what hasn't been cut yet. Her hair is slowly expanding. Okay. Here we go. All right, now give wow. us a shake. And this is what I'm donating, y'all. That's a lot. I'll have to take it and put it in a special like, envelope and go to the Turn your office. head. Just like turn your head and show different angles. It is gone. <laughs> oh, dear. Just my dear. Oh, my. Actually, it's... you know, that's not a half bad life for you. Well, no, well, you gotta shape up the back a little I mean, bit. No, shave it, shave it. All right, shave it off where it's real short. Well, why don't you cut? Can you just cut the rest of the back off? Because no, so, I, well, you're well, just gonna shave it. I'm just gonna shave it. Hey, okay. Hold on one more minute. I gotta take this and put it in an envelope. So I'm gonna have... go put it. You have an envelope ready? Oh, I have a big envelope that we can fold it and fit it in twice. They have to put it in a special envelope when you go to the post office. You want it in a bag first. Let me get a baggie. Hi. I'm gonna go put it in a baggie. Okay. There's the long ones. See if your mommy has a long envelope, Taylor, or one of those brown ones. I'm recording. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna go Hi. put it in a baggie, and then we'll do the envelope. Okay. okay. Ready for this? I'm ready. Shave away. I'm gonna get it real short so I can treat my hair. Because it my head because it's all dry. I'll let you know I have never done this before. Well, it's hard to mess up when you're getting rid of all of it. Well, you know, it's just a family time thing. <clears throat> you're having fun with me, you know? Mm-hmm. I should hope I'd get to meet your parents before you get married to my granddaughter. Yeah, I'm sure at some point. Gotta let this whole COVID thing die off first. Oh God, yeah. You don't want to take a chance. Your dad's high risk, ain't he? Yeah. And your mom, how's mm -hmm. she doing? She's doing good. That's good. One of her coworkers actually got it. <gasps> but, you know, thankfully, you know, they have Well, to Mark mask. lost two of, maybe three of his family members and then, uh, um, his daughter's boyfriend got it, but he's fighting it, so he's, you know, doing okay, they said, I think. But they died left and right. Left and right. There's just so much hair. You gotta start with the scissors. Well, you see, I'm very good at cutting hair, because... I cut my hair all the time. You want, you want to go front back is typically how, how it works back. Yeah. That'd be 
logical way to do it. Let's see if she tied it way up here. She got a lot more hair. Uh, well, she couldn't really tie it up. Uh, tie it up there. Hair was too short. She got as long as she could. I could turn my head upside down. She uh, took it from the main top. Well, normally they like to do from the base, so they have. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Well, she probably knows more about it than I do. My daughter is the first one ever donated hair, and she donated to Locks of Love. And I was donated well five times to Locks of Love, but this time we decided to do it different. So when I donated my hair, I did it to Locks of Love. The only issue I ran into is the person who cut my hair yeah. uh, had cut my mom's, you know, two weeks before. Yeah. And for Locks of Love, so same thing. It gave me the same haircut. Huh. A bob looks really good on my mom. Oh me? really? Not so much. <laughs> it lasted for 22 hours, and then I had a mohawk. Oh, mohawk's pretty good. If you're if you're a guy or want to be a girl that looks like a guy, I guess. I don't. I wouldn't personally get a mohawk. There's a lot of hair there. Oh my god! I didn't know I had that much. It felt so thin. Think you're punk rock? Oh, you? yeah. You kept talking I about. I punk rock, honey. I was always the. <laughs> And you, I was always, I was always the prudish person, and people didn't like to be around because I don't drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did not fit in. I mean, well, you know, other things. I'd sit around with family and stuff, but usually I'd go places. That's still where, attached to you, huh? I said that's still attached to you. Yeah, I, yes. I, I like to go places where they like my singing, and that way I can sing. Be mm -hmm. Y'all want to hear a song while I'm doing this? Sure. Okay, this is a song I wrote for in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Because in my younger day, I was his, I was he was my icon, mm. and so I wrote a song. I might not remember all of it, but I'll sing what I remember. It goes, Martin Luther King had a dream, makes a song. And you can sing it over your head. What he sing. could mean. Yes, he said he'd seen the promised land And there could be freedom for all men And they sang freedom, freedom Take each hand we and give us freedom And they sang freedom, freedom Take each hand we and give us Freedom. And thus begins the real shaving. Yes. Maybe I'll finish the song later. Well, I could talk, I guess. Would it record my talking over this? Um, well, it's doing it right now. Um, dead air, dead air, hurry up! Martin, dead air! Martin Luther King, he walked this land trying to teach us all how to walk hand in hand as he marched for freedom for all woman and man. Martin Luther King had a dream makes us all wonder what he could mean. <coughs> and I believe that if Martin Luther King was here today, he would say, don't you let your chains, <coughs> allergies, be made of drugs. Instead, let your chains be made of love filled with hugs. Martin Luther King had a dream Makes us all wonder what he could mean Yes, he said he'd seen the promised land And there could be freedom for all men They sang freedom, freedom Take these chains away and give us freedom Freedom from violence Freedom, freedom, take these chains away and give us freedom, freedom from hatred, freedom, freedom, take these chains away and give us freedom, and that goes out to all you 
people that have been abused by the supremacist white man. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and many, many more. To y'all, and Martin Luther King, thank you, and Joe Lewis, thank you for fighting so hard for rights for people. I appreciate it. I'm sure there's so many more and more people that do appreciate it. And God bless Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She fought for us so hard and did so much for us, and did so much for humanity, and inspired women to see that they could become lawyers, they could become doctors, they could become somebody with an education, of course. So to all you people out there, you women especially, you want to do something, get an education. It'll help you get places. And that's, I said, I guess I'm preaching now. <laughs> Don't mean to do that. Fun, fun, fun. How short's it now? I'd say around five inches. Depends on what side of your head you're on. <laughs> yeah. Front is five inches. <laughs> oh, hey, you have bald spots, just like me. Oh, yeah. I told you it's falling out. No, I mean shaved bald spots. Oh. He gave you bald spots. Yeah. They can't see your lap, don't no, worry. No, there was ball spots back there. No, not really. No, you got a luscious head of hair back here. Yeah, you kept saying it was thin, and I just thought you were, like, joking or no, something. No, it was itching like crazy. Well, no, there's itching, and then there's thin. It, no, it was falling out like crazy, I'm telling you. I know my hair. It was falling out way too fast. Well, when you get older, your hair thins anyway. I mean, it's just a part of life. Yeah, I would kill to have the amount of thickness that your hair has. Well, honey. I would sell my soul. Well, my answer to that is cleanliness, cleanliness, cleanliness. I mean, it was growing back. I know. And I had to cut it. Like I say, cleanliness, cleanliness, cleanliness. Oh, no, I haven't changed a thing. No, I know. But I do. I'm very... I've been called a uh, hypochondriac? Oh, oh, uh, yeah. No, that is because I got shot in 1981. I lost my intestines. And he said, because I lost my intestines and your in immune system's in your colon, that I would be prone to infections. And I have had many bladder, well, not too much with kidneys. They seem to work good. My liver's working great because I don't drink, do heavy drugs and stuff, you know. So, but cleanliness. I be germophobic because germs cause diseases. So I'm going to be a germaphobic and if people don't like it, they just don't have to be around me. Yeah, I feel bad for movie directors because they don't have the sheer quality of camera that this phone has. <laughs> the directors at Marvel wish they could have Wait, this phone. Wait you know the new ones that just came out from Samsung. It's like poor YouTube viewers. They're going to like see the it's compressed 5G. version of this. It's 5G, so everything's faster. That's only 3G. And I'm what happened it. to 4G? I thought I was buying 4G, and that's what they told me, but they sold me a 3G. Oh, you know, it's just, 5G was well, just so cool, was, they decided to skip 4. This was a Sprint store that wasn't really a Sprint store. It was one of those franchises, and as soon as my contract's up, I'm gone. I'll that's go why to... we got off. Huh? That's why we got off of Sprint so fast. Oh, was... yeah. I'm going, where'd you go, T-Mobile? Uh, Visible? Visible. It piggybacks off of Verizon's uh, network. Yeah. You know, and every month there's new charges I couldn't understand. So Sprint, when my I'm I'm gone, I'm gonna go to T-Mobile because it's they have a better deal and they're five G all over the place. Yeah. And you know, given the name of the company Sprint, uh, their Wi-Fi signal sure does like to walk. Yeah, it yeah. does. Uh, the biggest issue I had with them is the they're in the process of the fact that merging with T-Mobile, but. T-Mobile gives me a better offer than Sprint does, so. The the fact that you can't be on the phone and use your internet at the same time. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah, you can't, I can't be on the phone and load my maps. I, I have to load my maps first. I never tried that. Uh-huh. Or if somebody's like, hey, can you look that up for me? You can't look it up while you're on the phone with them. No. Oh, that's dumb. All right, that should be short enough I can actually get some traction with. If you want, like, skin, right? You might... Yeah, you you well, want to buzz. Tina, get Tina. She knows what she's doing with it. Uh, it's going to be short. Okay. Uh, you, you're going to want to go against the green if you really want to get it. See all that little white stuff coming off? 
Also, um, I'm not sure where you have the razor on, but I'd put on the highest setting to start to get it really close. That way it has a little less resistance. She said she wants to leave a fuzz, so she... Yeah, there'll, there'll be a fuzz. I'm not going to take the uh, trimmer to it. Or the actual, like, razor to it. Yeah, you're going to have fuzz. It's not going to be bald. Like, completely bald. It's going to be almost like what I have. Zoya shaved hers and her daddy helped her. I said, what did your mommy say when she saw it? She said she just looked at me and went, okay. <laughs> I love my grandchildren so much. I love my children so much. Yeah, you love me a little too much. You're trying hard to look just like me. <laughs> no, I am not. I just want to donut my hair. And... I definitely think Caleb should be the one doing this. Yeah. Uh, you know, honestly. Why don't you film and let him finish? I guess that's my life now. All right. I'm I'm the barber. Hey, dude, you're the one who cuts your hair on a regular basis. Well, yeah. But... All right. Let me pick up where you left off. Uh, let's do. Here we are. This is my grandson now. He's been filming, but now he's going to finish the shaving so he can treat my head. So one time, wow, you have very thick hair. And if I live <laughs> long enough to donate some more and it grows back, I will donate some more. But... Hi, don't I, move. Hi. Hi. I, I, he's filming, behave. Jeez. Yeah. I, it's, a, it's a full head of hair. I have an easier time shaving blue. Uh, no, he fights more. Yeah, but his hair wouldn't be so thick. I'd like to release. I almost want to get a, a different buffer and uh, try to cut a little shorter first. There's a number two by her foot. You want it? Uh, yes, please. Because, wow. Okay. That's a lot of hair. Couldn't we have cut more and got it? Uh, I mean, a li uh, maybe another half inch, but. Well, I wanted to donate as much as possible. That's a lot of hair waste. Well, they like, given what your scalp looks like, it might work. Not well, back. Each, each grandchild that wants some of it, they can take it and put it in a plastic bag, and when I'm dead, they can say, oh, there was Grandma's hair. I got my great-grandmother's hair. Some of her hair still. Well, not anymore, you don't. No, it's in, Ooh, a, in, there. in a plastic bag and oh. thing. Oh, you mean you literally have her hair? Yeah, I oh. never met her, but she was an awesome woman. Mommy had her hair. Let's see if this works now. I guess back in the day they took a person of the dead so... person's hair and kept it. Like that, we're going hardcore with it. The th the thing keeps getting like jammed up. Yeah. It it can't handle this. This is just too much. No matter what angle I go at. We could have given so much more. Mm. Well, let's see here. You got a brush to clean it out with? Uh, yeah, I think. You can pause the recording if you'd like. It might take a while. Is that for you who suffered? <laughs> who died and cried, and those who lied and killed and stole, don't you know? Rose in trouble. Wear a mask. And really quickly, can you just like rub your head on, on there and try to get whatever you can out? So you can see where, where things actually yeah. are? Yeah. It's like, Jesus. What? Don't say that word like that. Sorry. Satan. Should I put some olive oil in it? <laughs> Something. I think that'll make it worse. Let's not do that. Jeez. I'm already having enough struggle. Okay, go ahead. I think it's all over my neck now. Oh, it's definitely. You're going to have to take a shower after this. I just wash up. You need to get my neck good. Huh? Yep. Get my neck good. Well, oh, I'm trying. I feel like we could still use scissors for this, really. Yeah, I just didn't want to get too close to her scalp. We need to get away from my ears. Huh? Get it all away from my ears. Oh, we will. Yeah, hopefully we will. I mean... Uh, okay.